Hello, my name is Anton Malenza of the Australian Institute of International Affairs National Office. I'm joined here today by Melissa Conley-Tyler, the National Executive Director. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. Um, I'll start by congratulating the AIIA on its impressive rankings in the University of Pennsylvania Go-To Global Think Tank Index. Three years in a row as the number one think tank in Southeast Asia and the Pacific is a very impressive feat. Yeah, uh, we're very happy with this result. Um, I, I think we would see it as a, uh, a sign of the esteem in which we're held by others. Uh, now, you can only take it so far. It's only a reputation index. So it's a, it's a survey of around 5,000 plus people around the world who say who they think are some of the more effective think tanks. And we're very proud to be put in that company. Um, well, what has the AAA done right to ensure such a long period of success? Uh, well, look, if, if I knew I would bottle it and I would sell it to the other think tanks, but um, I think we're, we're certainly very active at the moment. Uh, the AAA's basic mission is promoting public understanding and interest in international affairs. Mm -hmm. And we see that in a number of ways. We have events, about 200 events a year around the country. We have a range of publications from our book series to our journal to our very popular blog. Uh, we do dialogues with other institutes like us around the world, and we have a very active youth program, everything from schools programs to careers fairs to young professionals programs, bursaries, scholarships, etc. Um, so I think if you put that all together, that's a very active program, um, and we're very lucky that people are noticing what we're doing and appreciating our work. Yeah. Um, what makes the AAA distinctive? Hmm. I think what makes us a bit unusual among think tanks is our focus on public. Uh, think tanks have an interesting position because they're between the worlds of policy and academia and the public. And they have this sort of bridge role. Now, for a number of think tanks, they focus mainly on government and they do a very good job there. Um, I think the AAA is a little more mixed. We clearly do work with government and policy makers. We have a very strong, uh, many decades old relationship with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Um, but we're very much public focused. So we're all about engaging ordinary people, the interested public, and saying to them, get involved, think about what happens in the world. Think about what is happening in international affairs and how it affects you and your life. Uh, and I think this is a bit unusual. I went to the Global Think Tank Summit last year in Montreal and there, there was a lot of, I don't know, beating of the breast and gnashing of the teeth about populism, what's happening in the world, that people aren't listening to experts anymore. Um, and a lot of the think tanks there were saying, we've really made a mistake. We haven't been focusing on the public. We haven't been talking to them. And I felt like putting up my hand and saying, we have for 93 years. That's been a core part of our mission, which is focusing on engaging the public in debates on international affairs. So in the spirit of the theme of this year's Global Go-To Index, mm. why are think tanks so important today? Mm. Well, as I say, it's a difficult international environment. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's new and unprecedented because we very often have difficult international environments. Uh, but what we have at the moment, I think, is a real sense of uncertainty. Uh, we've had a period of some relative stability in international affairs and people have got used to that. So when they see things happening now, it feels new and unprecedented and they don't know what to make of it. So there's this real feeling, this zeitgeist of just how confusing and worrying the world is at the moment. Um, I would say at a time like that, think tanks are very important at times of uncertainty and change. Uh, we can both talk to the public and explain and engage the public in debates, which is very helpful. Uh, we need for our governments to make wise policies, to have polities that understand and are engaged on issues. At the same time, a lot of governments are faced with very different environments than they used to, and they're looking for ideas. They're saying, how do we respond to this? And that's, again, exactly the time where think tanks are useful. Where there is change, where there is uncertainty, we can provide useful input. Um, so looking particularly at area foreign, foreign affairs, what other roles can think tanks play? Mm. Well, I've been working at the moment uh, on a, a, an upcoming publication looking at think tank diplomacy, mm -hmm. which is an interesting idea. You might have said in the past, oh, well, diplomacy, well, the only people who can do that are diplomats. But these days there's a much broader idea of who are diplomatic actors. And I look at different ways that think tanks can play this role, uh, whether that's uh, directly doing jobs that diplomats used to do, or indirectly supporting diplomats in what they do. So if you think of it in terms of negotiations, there are think tanks who can help negotiate on behalf of others. 
uh, if you think of it in terms of public diplomacy, a lot of think tanks can speak to foreign publics and try to engage with them and help them understand the country more. So they're an adjunct to what diplomats do. Um, you can also look at the way that think tanks report, look at what's happening in the world, do information gathering and reporting, and you know, that's everything from uh, International Crisis Group, uh, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty, there's a whole group of, of non-government organisations, think tanks that fulfil that role. And then, of course, think tanks can provide a safe space for discussion, um, whether you're talking something like you know, the Shangri-La Dialogue or, or something else. There's a lot of ways where think tanks can take a group of people who have friction and help them discuss. So there are a lot of roles for think tanks in international affairs. Uh, we try and play some of those roles here at the AAA and we commend all of the other institutes and think tanks around the world that are trying to help uh, make the world a little better in whatever way they can. Um, thank you once again for taking the time to speak with me. Yeah. Um, for more information about the AAA, please follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.